So I'm Brandi Mitchell, and I'm the organizer and founder of San Diego Soccer Women, and that's an organization out of San Diego, California in the U.S., where we promote soccer for women over age 30. So in, in the States, in the United States, we actually have leagues all the way through age 70 and older, where women are actively playing soccer. Uh, and so I've come out here from, from actually from Los Angeles uh, to, to visit the, the concept of walking soccer uh, to bring it back to the States. You know, I originally had, when I landed in London, went straight through to Bristol to meet with a photographer who's, who specializes in the photography of older athletes because a lot of what I do is talking about ageism, uh, also gender equality, um, all different types of discrimination I try to pull together in what we're doing as women soccer players. Uh, the one thing that I talk about is that we're not just soccer moms, uh, that a lot of us aren't mothers, even grandmothers, that some of us don't have kids, we're not married, that there's a wide variety in what it means to be a woman and to be an athlete. So. Uh, um, having gone to Bristol, I actually played with the Bristol Walking Football Club out there and had some great experience. Um, because I had been connected to Paul Carr with the, the UK Walking Football Association, I was able to get an invitation to come out to Guernsey to watch the women uh, play here for their international. Big thing is obviously learning what walking football is all about. Uh, there are some some small pockets of walking soccer in the United States. We have in the, the state of Arizona, in Washington, uh, in Florida. There, there's probably six or seven programs that that are developing, and they have some great um, some great participation. But it, it hasn't caught on yet, and I think there's going to be a really strong need over the next five to ten years for women who right now are playing full speed soccer to be able to have this option um, to go with walking soccer. Partly because they would have played their lives you know girls who started playing at five six seven years old like I had and I'm in my 40s now I may not be able to play in my 60s 70s and 80s the same way women are playing now in the United States because they hadn't been exposed to sports when they were younger their bodies were fresh starting at age 30 40 so I'm hoping to understand how this game can be involved to be inclusive um, gender wise obviously men and women but age and um, just different abilities of bodies I think it's important to recognize that it's an amazing sport that we can bring to all different levels Clearly coming from Southern California, we're, we're a desert environment, so our fields are not nearly as uh, fresh and, and nicely you know, uh, trimmed, but, but we do have uh, turf the same way you do here, um, and I can see as far as the facilities go, they're, they're, there's so many of them, which I love that each neighborhood kind of has access um, to what they need, and I think in San Diego we drive a lot further to get to different sports facilities, which can impede a lot of people from playing. So that's one thing that I'm working on, not only starting walking soccer there, but making sure we have enough opportunity just um, for each small neighborhood, each community, the same way you do here. Other than that, I just really appreciate the community here in Guernsey um, and out through the UK that's, that's been open to me, me traveling out here.